Eric Fine, a 72 pin connector here with you. Today, we will be talking about Horizon Zero Dawn. Horizon Zero Dawn is Guerrilla Games' first attempt into the action RPG open world genre. Previously, they had worked on titles such as Killzone. This is a gorgeous, vast open world running at 1080p and 30 frames per second. In this game, if you find something interesting in the distance you would like to go see, you are more than capable of actually getting to it to examine it. Okay, here's that mountain I was looking at earlier. In this game, you will play as Aloy, an orphaned girl whose origins are unknown. You are awake. You brought me here? Quickly, you must follow. To where? To the place where you were born. There are three ways to fight in this game. The first being setting traps. This will allow you to disable enemies and get close to do heavy damage. The second is melee combat. You have two options here. You either have a quick attack or you have a slow heavy attack that does mass damage. Beware when using this, it is very slow and leaves you vulnerable. The third is the option you will probably be using the most, and that is ranged combat. As Aloy, you are a skilled archer with many bow and arrow types to suit any situation you may be in. In this game, you will come across many species of robots, each of which will have its own personality. While all will be aggressive when provoked, some will seek confrontation from you upon sight. These robots not only serve the purpose of confrontation, but they also give you the goods that you need to trade with vendors to get better weapons and armor. And as you can see in the previous clip, robots can actually be allies as well. With an item received early in the game, you were given the ability to override wild robots, allowing them to come to your aid, either in combat or as a mount. This game does a fantastic job making you feel as if you're a part of a living, breathing world. Not only is it filled with the many different types of robots, but there is also different types of animals that you can hunt and harvest to be able to make healing potions and other valuable trade items. Well, there's nothing more I can really say about this game other than the fact that it's fantastic. If you're a fan of action RPGs or like to just roam around in a beautiful open world, I cannot recommend this game for you enough. In fact, even if you don't have a PS4, I think this is a game that is well worth going out and getting a console for. Well, that's all I have for you this week. Until next time, game on.